I'm Matt Zahn, and this is what I learned today at Hallis Hall. It has been an eventful couple of days, certainly. Today we got to hear from Matt Eberflus and others for the first time since they made the decision to part ways with offensive coordinator Shane Waldron and replace him with passing game coordinator Thomas Brown. Eberflus said they're looking for more creativity in the offense from Brown uh, and looking for Brown to find ways to get their talented players open. I asked uh, Eberflus how much can really change in just a couple of days this week as they get ready for the Packers. Uh, Eberflus said he's looking for, quote, significant change so we'll see how that goes Brown for his part said you can't really reinvent the wheel at this point in the middle of a season but it's about trying to find the best ways to be effective with their playmakers he said it starts up front starts with the run game Brown also emphasized the importance of practice saying they'll quote make practice as hard as humanly possible end quote as far as Caleb Williams goes he says he did voice frustrations with the way the offense was going under Waldron, but he wouldn't go so far as to say he or any of the other players uh, asked for Waldron to be fired. DJ Moore sort of echoes those same thoughts as well. Caleb did admit he's been holding on to the ball a little bit too long these last couple of games, leading to all these sacks he's taken. Uh, he's hopeful with Brown now calling plays. They'll have uh, easier passes out there and, quote, a few extra layups, end quote. Williams says he, he has, or Williams also seems to have the support of all his teammates. K, uh, Cole Komet called any reports of uh, the veterans wanting Tyson Bajan to start over them, just not true. He said that didn't happen. He says th this team is fully behind Caleb Williams. And one more quick note that we barely even got to today. Offensive guard Nate Davis was released earlier in the day, ending his tumultuous time with the Bears.